going to be a fake anybody on Twitter. I mean, if you can't put your name behind what you're saying, what's the point? Oh, I see. I'm supposed to take you seriously because you're a fake Steven Diaco. Gotcha. That's the most pathetic, idiotic move. But whatever, dude. Do what you do. It was a good tweet from a horrible Twitter account. Like, what's wrong with you? What, that you don't want to be you. Oh, you want to be someone else so you can say cutting edge things under someone else's name. Brilliant. My name is Drew. Now, that's brilliant. Uh, a couple of tweets uh, from Will. Will Front242 or Revco be included in your syllabus? Hashtag alternative school. And that goes right over Matt uh, Matt's tweet. How about some goth alternative? Concrete Blonde, Clan of Zymox, Bauhaus, Sisters of Mercy, Susie and the Banshees, etc. Good stuff. There will definitely be a goth curriculum in which you can matriculate. All those bands that you mentioned that made you want to wear a big black trench coat, smoke clothes. Hannah, thank you very much for calling uh, back in. I appreciate it. You're the 17-year-old that we wouldn't let you on the show because you're 17, but you sounded like you had something to say on the Facebook page, so I appreciate you calling. Yeah, no problem. I got really excited when I saw you read it. Good. I definitely did, and and it was very uh, it was a great point on your behalf. I mean, you're you're bringing up points that your generation really needs to understand, which is you gotta work your friggin' ass off, right? Yeah, like I have not had a normal summer, like as a kid or teenager since I was twelve, because I volunteered at a preschool, starting mm. with my bat mitzvah project, and just kept going back every summer, and eventually I was a normal camp counselor, and I got paid. Mm. So I enjoy working a lot. I'm trying to find a job now, but it's really hard. Hey, you know what, though? It it might be hard, but that work that you're putting in right now, you are building for your future. And there's going to be an employer one day down the road, probably one day soon, who's going to look at that and think, man, this is a girl who defies her generational stereotype, who's got it going on. And she's a lovely Jewish girl, so I'm going to hire this. I mean, I assume you're Jewish because you had a bat mitzvah. Most girls who get bat mitzvah, I think probably 99 percent of girls who get bat mitzvah are Jewish. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm and there's a one wish. there's a one percent mar- margin of error there. Well, good. Uh, when it comes to dating, uh, do you date outside the uh, the Jewish faith? I have never had a boyfriend. What? Whoa! What? Never? Yeah. Uh, is it? I mean, is it? May I ask why? Um, boys are stupid and they don't want to ask me out. Okay, I can see that. You sound like a smart girl, and, and, and guys your age. Well, one, once you're 18, you can start dating some older guys, and hopefully you'll find one that'll uh, that'll treat you well. When you do turn 18 and you start dating dudes, uh, will you be dating non-Jews, or are you going to keep it strictly Hebrew? I'm going to have to keep dating Jews because mm. my mom won't let me marry anyone unless they're Jewish. Yeah. So Yeah, that happens. Uh, that's interesting though. Like, suppose you fall in love with a, a red-haired, freckled kid who's a uh, who's a who's a Protestant or who's a cat, and you fall in love with the dude, and you say, "Mom, I'm sorry. I know what you told me, but I'm in love with this boy, and he treats me real well." You think she wouldn't let you date him, or she wouldn't let you uh, engage herself to him? I think she would make me make him convert. Wow, really? Yeah, my dad actually converted. Oh. Before he married my mom, that was like a requirement for her. Your dad converted to Judaism just to marry your mom. Your mom must be one hot piece of uh, butt. She, <laughs> I said, she was, oh. I guess, oh, back she, in the oh, 80s or not, whatever. Not anymore? Do you, have, um, do, you have, do you have any pictures of your mom in a bathing suit? You don't want to see that. But do you have any pictures of her in a bathing suit? No. Would you like to purchase some? No. Thank you. 2012 oh, Biggest Fishing oh, Tournament on the west coast of Florida is back. The Archery Shop presents the third annual Bone Fish. I meant to just hang up, but it was a really good note to go on a break. I mean, I'm not unhappy. We did have to break. <laughs> I was so damn pleased with my out on that phone call. All right. Uh, who? Oh, he doesn't want to just don't curse here. Do you want to take this guy off the air or no? Who? Aaron. My wife is great? Oh, sure. Yeah, I know Aaron. What's up, 941-286-6781? Uh, I say, what, what's up, 941-286-6781? Anxious. No, you're not on the air. Back towards you. It's down. Tonight's 
best. Uh, well, here's what I want to let you know. You're not going to get on the show ever again. That's why I want to let you know that we have your number. And if you continue down this path, we're going to report you for making harassing phone calls. So go ahead and say what you're going to say, please, because I'm logging everything. This is what we'll start with. Aaron, your voice is beautiful. That's funny because my uh, my phone screener, Kayla, and just so you know, this conversation is being recorded, uh, said you wanted to say something about uh, my wife. What was that, Aaron? What did you want to say about her? Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. Or are you going to change it up now like a little pussy? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Anything we can do for you, Aaron? 941-286-6781? I didn't think so. Yeah, choke on it, faggot. 78, sorry. Don't uh, don't put this number on the air anymore. And every anytime it's him, just let me know. Yeah. Thanks. I'll add it to the list over there. Exactly. Jew Hunter tried to call in the other day. Did he really? Oh, oh, he hasn't called in a while. Yeah. Oh shit! Cowlet TV, you heard me call that guy a faggot. Oh, I don't say the f word ever. Cowlet TV, that was <laughs> Tourette's. Uh, shit, damn hell, fuck. See, <laughs> uh, bastard, Jew, bitch, hell, R word. See. So anyway, Cali TV, I uh, hope you're having a great day. That was a problem caller that we have, just to let you know. I don't do that with every caller, but when we recognize a number like that, that's what happens. Um, hope you're having a great day. I uh, appreciate the uh, feedback that, you know, you watch this. I uh, hope a lot of you are going on Cali Cruise. I'm really starting to get excited about it because I'm meeting some people who are going on the cruise, and I'm really, really thrilled about that. I don't know if Cal is in today or not. Do you know if Mike's in today? Mike is Cal's real yet. name. I haven't seen him yet. Um, I'll go I'm throwing three on hold. So, the reason we have this time together right now is because I just went to break prematurely. Uh, but not really. I mean, I was already late for my next break, but I should have taken some, well, I shouldn't have taken some more phone calls, but in my mind I should have. I'm horrible at time management. I want to, I respect the advertisers very much who, you know, pay us a pretty penny to advertise their product, but I've always viewed advertisements as stuff that gets in the way of the show. Again, we couldn't exist if not for them. My salary would not be what it is, and I don't know what it is, but it wouldn't be what it is if there weren't people who said, hey, we believe in your product here, endorse us. Uh, that said, man, if I could do a three-hour show without commercials, I would. Um, one of the best things about being on Radio Io with Bubba's uh, Radio Io network was just never having a break for commercials. You know, you could do an hour solid of radio. Um, you might think that it would be difficult with no one else in the studio, but it's not, man. I mean... This is such a freaking easy job we have. Such a great job, but I guess you're either uh, either born for it or not. I don't know that I was, but I fooled myself into thinking that I was born for it, and therefore that I can do it with some degree of proficiency, which if the ratings are what Khaled tells me they are, then I am. But he could be lying to me, I don't know. One moment while I screen this phone call off the air, I'll let you experience it with me. I often pretend to be a black intern that I don't have, by the way. Hello, WHPT FM. How may I direct your phone call? Oh, no. Who are you calling? 1025 The Bone? She said they had the wrong number. No, she didn't have the wrong number. She just didn't think she would be speaking to Tyrone, the fictional black intern. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys are set for a great weekend. Um, I don't think Pitbull Toddler is playing anywhere because I think we're playing old man basketball on Sunday morning with myself, Galvin, Cal, Pete. John Brennan and Seth, my uh, former morning show co-host. Cal is here today. Cal, it is here today. Yeah. Breaking news: Mike Calta will be hosting the Cal show today. That's good news. Five I mean, I thought uh, I thought Galvin did a great job yesterday. Five o'clock what? Five o'clock is when they're doing the mashed potato wrestling. Five o'clock will be mashed. Who's mashed potato wrestling? Carmen and listeners. Little girl listeners or guy listeners? Girl listeners. I'm not gonna have her wrestle guy listeners. That'd be oh. stupid. Hey, I don't know. So okay, at five o'clock. Uh, it looks like you'll be finding me with my pants around my. I mean, you'll be finding. Uh, Carmen mashed potato wrestling. Is it instant mashed potatoes or are they doing No, it? I think I think Spanish is in charge of heating up the mashed potatoes and everything and they're going to let them cool. I don't hmm. really know how it's going to work. What I would do is uh, I, think. I would get a vat. I don't know where one can purchase a rent. A oh, it's going to be right here in a, in a pool. In, in the studio. Yeah, they're going to have it right here. I will pay Mike Calto $100 we have to remove all these if chairs. I'm allowed right to here. watch and pleasure myself while that is going on. $100. And I will pleasure myself to completion. And ejaculate into the mashed potatoes and eat it. Boom! Oh, you would eat your own cum? I love myself. Why wouldn't I eat my own cum? It's not because I'm gay. It's just because I love me. Right. Get me in my mouth, I like to say. Those are all my future Sorry. unborn children. Gulp right down my throat. Nothing gay about it. Just conceited. 
Aaron just called. What? He did? Yeah. What did he say? He's like, I just want to talk to Drew. I don't think so. Good. Bitch. Ain't nobody got time for that. Right. That's how we do. I was just kidding about the eating your ejaculate part, as far as you know. No, I wasn't. I love me that much. Again, not gay. It's just like, fuck you, me, me. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Sucks when it gets in your eyes, though, right, ladies? I mean, I'm blind. Oh, I can't see any of my contact. I don't know if that should be true. That's the reason I thought Ian had four pieces of pizza. What's that, America? That's right, because you were blinded by jizz. I think so. Also, it's Friday. See, the show off the air is a lot more fun than the show on the air, in my opinion. And the show on the air is pretty fun. What do I got to do, a Fran? Yes. I'm going to give it to you right here. And then I'm going to do Fran. And then I'm going to do the Fran endorsement. He can last the extra hour. It's in your face with Drew Garabo. Working all week. Not to five for my money. So when the weekend comes, I go get live with the home. Hey, check it out. Here's what's going on this weekend. If you are looking for something to do on Saturday, and who among us isn't, Check out the 12th annual Parrot Head Party. Man, I'll tell you, if there is anything I love more than listening to the music of Jimmy Buffett, it is hanging out with the people who listen to Jimmy Buffett's music. Me and my Parrot Heads are going to be at Old Palm Harbor's Downtown Historic District on Main Street tomorrow. Live music from the Caribbean Chillers, possibly the Caribbean Chillers. Those are not two separate bands. That's one band. I just don't know if they prefer Caribbean or Caribbean. With the Caribbean Chillers or Caribbean Chillers and the Tropical Rock Junkies or the Tropical Rock Junkies, you'll have cool stuff to buy from art and unique... No, 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 no. Art is not a guy selling you stuff. You'll have cool art stuff to buy and there are unique retail vendors as well. A kid's playground and a food court. You can judge me guilty in that court. It's going on Saturday from 2 to 10 p.m., sponsored by Attorney Fran Hosh. The monthly Greater Plant City Chamber of Commerce Bike Festival, Saturday night, downtown Plant City on North Palmer Street. Bike show registration from 5 to 7 with bike show trophies for the winning bikes, live music, fitty fitty raffle, food and drink specials, and the man, Radical Randy, is your MC, sponsored by the law firm of Fran Hosh. And of course, Saturday, that's tomorrow. The Frantastic Fran will be throwing out the first pitch at the Clearwater Threshers game. I was there last night, Bright House Field. 6.30 game, game time against the Dunedin Blue Jays with free fireworks after the game. Go cheer Fran on. I mean, I hope the fireworks are free. That seemed like a, an unfair deal to me. It's like, hey, you stuck around for the baseball game, but cough up five bucks for that fireworks show. <laughs> Steve, what's up, man? Welcome to In Your Face with Drew Garabo getting you ready for the Cowhead Show. Nope, sorry, my bad, yo. What up? Steve? Oh, hello, Hi. Drew. How you doing? Good, Steve. How are you doing today? Uh, not too bad. Um, Good. I had a, a story for you about oh. the generation is problem it, and everything. Is it, a, um, is it a brief story? Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty brief. Um, I used to work at a pest control company that actually um, Bubba was a customer of. But um, all the kids there are younger than me. I'm 30. Mm -hmm. uh, all of them were on um, like Roxy's and pot all the time at their shift, you know. And it made it hard for everyone else because we'd have to correct their mistakes and everything. But it was just rampant there. They just didn't care about their job at all, and it was very frustrating. Thank you. Appreciate that. 727-579-1025. Uh, Ari said, stop rapping. Go ahead and tell me not to listen to the show then. Oh, wait, I already don't listen to your garbage show. Then how did you know I was rapping? That's odd. Hey, you say stop rapping, and then you say you already don't listen to the show, but I just rapped, and you knew that I just rapped. So which is it? How did – hmm. I'm so confused. How in the world did, hmm, 727-579-1025. Oh, is that Aaron? <laughs> what did he want, Kayla? We got a problem, call her off the air. Nothing. He claims that I, I know that I'm deaf, but I know what I heard, and he claims that he's like, oh, no, I wanted to tell me he had a great singing voice. Oh, no. no yeah. No. I know what I heard. I might Thank be you. deaf, but how can I get that mixed up, yes, really? I appreciate that, Kayla. Yeah, we, we're not taking your phone calls, bro. There are very few people on our do not call list. That is Jerry. And you. So, Aaron, you can stop trying, bro. Thank you. 727-579-1025. What's up, Officer Tim? Hey, Drew. It's becoming a tradition at Officer Tim's house to listen to you on my day off with the kiddies. Thank you. 
Hey, Drew, when are you coming back over to Orlando? I know it's in June, but uh, I hmm. thought you said something about coming over to Universal. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's July thirteenth. We have uh, we have a live broadcast at Universal uh, for the uh, for the Transformers uh, ride. I think it's July thirteenth. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain. So yeah, it should be next month, bro. It's great. I'm on vacation. I'm gonna try to drop by and say hi to you. I hope you do, man. It'll be good to reconnect. Okay, have a good weekend, Mr. Drew Garabo. You. you do the same thing. Please uh, never let me say reconnect again. That's one of those uh, office speak buzzwords. Synergy, fusion, reconnect, reach out, huddle, bring it in, trust fall. What's up, Jake? How are you? Hey, um, I'm doing good, but uh, I'm 23, so I'm regrettably a part of this uh, generation. And I used to be a soccer coach before I moved out of Florida. And there's just there's no longer competition in sports or anything. So when kids go up, they want to get a job, they don't know how to compete because everybody can make the team and they have to play and everyone gets a trophy and feel good about themselves. And then they get in the real world and it's sucks. a little bit harder. Yeah, no, the real, world, uh, the real world sucks. There's no doubt about it, bud. But uh, you got to play ball. 727-579-1025 and 800-771-1025. Just for Ari, uh, who wants me to stop rapping, I'm going to take a beat that I've never rapped over before, and I don't know what I'm going to rap about. Check it. Uh, ha. When it comes to board games, you know I love Sari, and I'm doing this rap for a Jewish kid named Ari. Yo, Ari, on your head there's a yarmulke. I chose a word that has no rhyme. No harmonica. Yeah, you blowing in your mouth. It's shaped like a lobster. I'm choosing these words. You on my roster. Can't I pick a word that's easy to rhyme or easy to drink like Corona and lime? Don't like this beat because there's not enough percussion. Just left your mom with a severe concussion. How'd she get that injury to her head? Well, I'm glad you asked. I left the bitch dead, not dead as in taking a dirt nap, but dead as in I gave her the clap. That's right, she got VD. She burning her vagina. I can't say that word, but I think it's much finer to leave the illusion that I just said that phrase. Check it out, the Fonzie was on Happy Days. And if you don't like my rap, you can kiss my ass. And this weekend, I hope you smoke grass. Not like marijuana, but smoke real grass. The kind that'll burn your lungs up real fast. Ari doesn't like my rhymes. I don't care. I do this, Ari, because it's fun. I do it because people like it. If you didn't know that, if you weren't listening to the show, you wouldn't know I was rapping. Boom. 727-579-1025, 800-771-1025. 727-579-1025, 800-771-1025. Jordan said, come on, get to the Bush Gardens ride. I'm also curious as to which ride you won't get on. Thank you for reminding me. I would have let the weekend go and not delivered on that tease, and I hate that. There's a rumor that Bush Gardens is going to have a free fall ride. Adding to the list of rides I will not ride, the Shikra. Shikra. I will never. I, look, that when it comes to heights, I get sketchy. The Shikra, that first, like, they, they keep you in the cart, and it's a like a 90-degree drop straight down, because that's 90 degrees. I can't get down with that. I'll go on every roller coaster in the world. For some reason, that one, it makes me feel like my ovaries are in my stomach, which is not where they belong, by the way, in case you didn't know anatomy. So a free fall ride, like the one they have at Universal, where it's just like, Dr. Doom's free fall, I can't do that straight up and down like the Wu-Tang Clan. Can't do it. Just not my, not in my intestinal best interest. Why did I have to say straight up and down? Now I'm thinking about the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? How are you? What's up, brother? Good. Yourself? Good, man. Thank you. All right, man. Been listening a long time. My dad, Bubba Baker, the tattoo has got me started when I was 12. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say your dad, Bubba Baker, the tattoo artist? Yes, sir, I did. Like Mr. Homer Simpson like on you. The gentleman who put at Flea World in Sanford, Florida, the man who took the decal that I brought in of Homer Simpson and constructed the Homer Simpson tattoo that I'm currently displaying and flexing on Cowhead TV. Your dad did this tattoo on me. My dad, Bubba Baker, yes, sir. How's he doing, dude? Is he still being an extra in movies and stuff? 
Uh, he, he's doing stuff here and there. Not a whole lot, man. He's, he's hanging out. He's doing good. Dude, please send him my fondest regards and tell him that I still have that tattoo. I'm going to put a Ralph Wiggum next to it probably. And I still have uh, – I've got I got a second one, which is my wife's name and a heart on my uh, right arm. And I'm sorry that it did not uh, come from him. But he's a great dude. I love your dad, man. What a great guy. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. What can we do for you? Yeah, I just want I just wanted to say, man, you rock. My generation sucks. I'm 23, man. Uh, history will show you that it seems like, you know, the, the quality of life has gotten better from generation to generation up to my generation and it just took a it took a shot to the to the dome piece, man. We're just we're terrible. I hate my generation. <laughs> well, your dad did a fine job, man. Please send him my regards, dude. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, man. You take care. Thank you, man. Bubba Baker, the man. Did my first tattoo at Flea World. Flea World. Yeah, I did it. That's right. I knew I wanted a tattoo. This dude Bubba called my overnight show and said, hey, I want to give you a tattoo. Now, you might not want to get your first tattoo at Flea World by a guy named Bubba who's a biker, <laughs> but I sure did. What's up, Tony? How are you? Welcome to In Your Face with Drew Garabo. Oh, it's Tyler. Oh, sorry, Tyler. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you very much. Um, Your raps are the reason why I still listen to the show, so whoever <laughs> called in and... uh. <laughs> You know, thank you. Down your raps, just, yeah. just you know, forget them. All right? Yeah, forget Ari, dude. Thank you very much. The raps are why I listen to the show. I'll try to do, uh, try to do a lot more rapping. Hey, what's up, Diego? Drew, what's up, man? I just want to tell you, your rapping ain't no good. Oh, I see what you did there. So you're trying to tell me in a not so clever, double negative kind of way that you find my raps good. Absolutely, I love it. Hey, you're the man. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much for the double negative and the compliment. What up, Lula? Yeah, hi. I just wanted to call and say, at least I could understand your rap. I yeah. mean, most of them you can't understand, you know? Yo, I'm crazy <laughs> decipherable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I uh, liked it. Well, thank you. How, <laughs> how young of a lady are you, Lula? Oh, I'm um, hmm? not young. I'm, I'm in my 50s. Okay, that's, that's okay. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, give me a subject, Lula, and I'll rap about it just for you. Oh, how about... Lovers. 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 Uh, check it. Yo, this weekend you should be getting under covers if you like Lula and I'll rap about lovers from Romeo and Juliet. You know he made her panties wet. Shakespeare in love. The movie with Claire Danes. I might be just a little bit insane. Was it Leo in that movie? I don't think that it was, but I didn't see it with my nephew or my cuz. What other lovers were there throughout history? Let me dig into my mind and see what I can see. You know you had Anthony and Cleopatra. Drew Garabo and I shave with an Atra. That's not a razor they make anymore, but I'll be more than happy to say Ari's mom is a whore. Atra used to be a razor by Gillette. Keeping you sweat like Keith beyond belief. I hate when my girl starts to. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to the show this week. I appreciate it very much. Cowhead is up next. I'm at Drew on the radio on the Twitter machine. Today, I don't want to self-congratulate, uh, but today was a fun show. I hope you enjoyed it half as much as I did. Because if you did enjoy it half as much as I did, that means I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. Thank you very much. Thanks to Radio Kayla. Thanks to Cassie, the weirdest intern on the planet. Thanks to Cox Media Group for continuing to sign my paychecks. And I will see you Monday. Have a great weekend. And uh, I'll, I'll tweet out a benefit that's going on in the Brandon Beef O'Brady's tomorrow for little, uh, little Dahlia. Uh, and uh, I'll see you. Bye. He's number one for a reason. We're just not sure which one. Word! Sorry, dude. Yeah. Shit happens. Is he the one who said, like, how long is it going to be? No, no, Damn. no. He was cool. Oh, he hung around for, like, 31 minutes. I know, I know. And uh, the whole time I'm thinking, man, I really hope that this is the uh, how long is it going to be. <laughs> he was cool, though. He was cool, man. Oh, well.
I'm the whole, you're such a dick. The whole time I'm with him. The whole time I was like making him hold it because I really suspected that. No, that wasn't him. Oh, well. like, that guy hung up after like two minutes. Yeah, so. fuck, fuck that guy. Fuck, fuck that guy. He's fucking fuck stupid. Well. Fucking fucking shit. All right, Cali TV, thank you all very much. I seriously hope you have a great weekend. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm so in your... Look, it's in your face. <laughs> That's <laughs> I was totally flexing my tattoos. I apologize, but I've never had muscles before, and I'm starting to get some, so sorry that it's obnoxious as fuck, but if you've been a flabby piece of shit, out of shape loser like me, and you start to get a little muscle, you're probably going to show it off. So if you're going on the Cali Cruise, and I have abs by then, you're going to see a lot of them. Sorry. Not sorry. What's up, Spanish? I'm all right, man. You know... You are, are you ready to see what 125 pounds of mashed potatoes plus my ejaculate looks like? And then I'm going to eat the mashed potatoes after I jitter it. I'm ready to add a couple of pounds, a couple of LBs to those mashed potatoes, son. Yeah! Sunday? That's good. Sunday? Sunday? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Early? What time? Nine. Yeah, I'll bring. No, I'll bring the wife. She, uh, yeah, you can bring, uh, the wife will be watching all the kids. So if you want to bring your wife, you yeah, can I told her. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, they can back it out on the swing set. Oh, I love that. Oh yeah, that's what I said. Oh, yeah, totally. I, said, I don't know if Drew's wife will go for it. Oh fuck yeah, she will. Out. Absolutely, she'll I'll make her go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I act like I wear the pants in the family. That's yeah, fun. Thank you, be your wife. Have a great show. Anyway. Everybody, thanks. Mics are open. Come on, close. Oh, uh, no. I got another time. Thank you. Hey, I favorited your tweet. That was wonderful. No. No. Good. And my husband was so happy I got the quote. Save up to 70%.